Welcome to Nine World Chronicles. Today we continue our presentation of the complete list of war gods. In our last video we talked about African gods, primarily Kemetic Netas, Yorubwarisha, and Mesopotamian deities, associated with war. In this edition we will look at war deities of Greek mythology. A significant difference between what we saw from Kemetic belief systems and Yoruba belief systems is how they viewed these deities in general. The Kemites believe that these are spiritual beings and they were in a lot of ways very separate from humans, although they were used as symbols and lessons. I would take the same approach with Yoruba deities, that they were above, or different, and were separated from mankind. But still they love mankind, they care for mankind, they are protectors of mankind. But in Greek mythology they had a very different idea of what gods, or the supernatural beings that they worship, are. The Greek gods are more relatable to humans. They fell in love with and mated with humans. They hybrid offspring, who lived between worlds. So the Greeks had an intimate relationship with their deities that the previous belief systems did not. And that's one of the important distinctions that we look for when we start talking about religions or why we have these conversations about mythology. With that said, let's take a look at the war gods of Greek mythology. Alala, is the female personification of the war cry in Greek mythology. She is the daughter of Polymos, the demon of war. She was an attendant of the war god Ares, whose war cry was her name, Alala Lala. Greek soldiers attacked the enemy with this battle cry in order to cause panic to the enemy lines. Alk, was the personification of battle strength, prowess and courage. She is a protector of the RMP and king's use. Alk is associated with a group called the Spirits of the Aegis. Eris, personified strife, Phobos, terror, and Loki was onslaught. Ares, the main Greek god of war, despised by all the city-states except Sparta. He is one of the twelve Olympians, the son of Zeus and Hera. Ares was a rival of the goddess Athena, his sister. Athena was a more well-rounded being. A scholar as well as a warrior. She defeated Ares many times, including the Trojan War. Ares had many children, including the Amazons who were rumored to be his daughters. His symbols are the sword, spear, shield, helmet, chariot, flaming torch, dog, boar, and vulture. His offspring are Erots, Phobos, Dimos, Phlegius, Harmonia, Enelios, Thrax, Oinomos, and the Amazons. Athena, goddess of wisdom, war strategy, and weaving, more beloved by ancient Greeks than Ares and patron deity of Athens, which was named for her. Athena was regarded as the patron and protectress of various cities across Greece. Her affiliation with Athens put her at odds with her brother Ares, as he was the patron of Sparta. She defeated him in the Spartan War, and is typically regarded more than most of her pantheon. Enyalius, is the son of Ares, and Enyo, who is also a deity of war. Enyalius is more specifically a deity of soldiers and warriors at war. Enyo, the goddess of war and destruction. She is the daughter of Zeus and Hera. Enyo is a frequent companion of Ares who is her brother. The two have a son, the previously mentioned Enyalius. Homodus was the personified spirit, Daimon, of the din of battle, the shouts and cries of men and the clashing of weapons. He was probably numbered amongst the Makai, Maki, the Daimoners of the battlefield. Eoke was the female personification, Daimona, of onslaught, battle tumult, pursuit and rout. She was one of the spirits of the Aegis, Aegis, the tasseled arm guard of Zeus. The Caress, were female death spirits. They were the goddesses who personified violent death and who were drawn to bloody deaths on battlefields. Although they were present during death and dying, they did not have the power to kill. All they could do was wait for them to die and then they could feast on the dead. The Caress were daughters of Nyx, and as such the sisters of beings such as Moirai who controlled the fate of souls and Thanatos, the god of peaceful death. Kratosis is the divine personification of strength. He is the son of Pallas and Styx. Kratos compels the mild-mannered blacksmith god Hephaestus to chain Prometheus to a rock as punishment for his theft of fire. The myth of this deity has been greatly enhanced by modern gaming culture. Kidoimos, the personification of the din of battle, confusion, uproar and hubbub. Soldiers called upon him to descend on their opponents. Clearly looking at the number, specific aspects, and diversity of these war deities, we can assume this reflected some importance for the Greek people. 
Athena and Ares are among the most well-known deities of any myth system in the world. They are kept alive in movies, video games, and comic book stories. One may see these as forms of modern worship, renewing the power of gods who lived on prayers and worship. In our next episode we will take a look at Celtic and Norse war deities. Thank you for watching this presentation of, The Complete List of War Gods, Part 2. Be sure to like and subscribe.